Earth technically is an ability to have a second moon, and it does sometimes have them. But there have been lots of other types of claims not referring to that. But the claim that the Earth is actually having a permanent second moon is a bit misleading considering that what this is usually referring to is quasi-satellites. They are near-Earth objects that do not actually orbit the Earth, but rather they orbit the Sun from the same distance that the Earth does and with the same speed. This leads to a bit of confusion. For example, 2016 HO3 micro asteroid has the most stable orbit out of all the quasi-satellites. And from our perspective on Earth, it appears to be going around the Earth. But what really is going on here is that its orbit is a bit tilted in comparison and it orbits the Sun from the same distance in the same place with the same speed. That is, it also needs 366 days to complete a year. Because of those factors, it just appears to be orbiting the Earth, but it is actually going around the Sun. Now, this microasteroid is measured to be a bit over 40 meters in diameter, so basically it is similar in size to a 12-story building. That's why it is a microasteroid. Also, we would be in ability to visit it when it approaches the Earth. That is, when its distance is more than 10 times further away from the Moon than the Moon is from the Earth, which is not impossible to reach with satellites, we went much deeper into space than that, so it would be useful to do some science experiments there. And there are a few of these near-Earth companions or quasi-satellites that give the impression that they are going around us. The first indication of their existence is Corinia, which gets closest to the Earth every November, but that is still 30 times longer than the distance between the Earth and the Moon. And from Earth, it appears to follow this weird path that is called the Horseshoe Orbit, but again, it's an illusion, it orbits the Sun normally. Now, these quasi-satellites also have very unstable orbits and after some time, that is after a couple of hundreds of years, these satellites change their orbit and just go away. But in fact, there are natural satellites that orbit the Earth for a couple of months. Computer models suggest that at any given time, there should be at least one asteroid orbiting the Earth with a diameter of around one meter. This means that there are actually two moons orbiting the Earth, and they are not quasi-satellites. These are usually tiny asteroids that get captured by Earth's gravity. One such example is 2006 RH-120. At first it was thought that it was a booster left from Apollo 12 rocket, but later research proved that this object was actually an asteroid 5 meters in diameter, and it orbited the Earth for a couple of months, and it left the Earth's orbit and began orbiting the Sun again. But in 21 years, it should come back to the Earth. And this is good news. This will allow for a manned space mission to this tiny asteroid. It won't be that far away from the Earth, so sending humans there would be quite easy. First we'll locate it, send a manned rocket, deploy humans near the asteroid, and those humans will somehow need to attach themselves with some special ropes to this asteroid, as its gravity is very insignificant, almost non-existent so they would need to pull themselves onto the surface of this rock and pick up samples of it. Again, it won't be a really simple mission, as this asteroid is the size of a small house. It's basically a rock floating around the Earth. Nonetheless, it's technically a moon. So then those humans would bring the samples back, and with the samples picked up from the rock, we can study and uncover many more secrets of the solar system, as it should be quite old because it did not have geologic activity so we can use dating methods and discover some new things. It should be quite exciting, and that's not the only actual satellite we have found. There are a lot of them. Again, there is probably some tiny rock orbiting the Earth right now, which could be considered a second moon. But really, humans have already sent even larger satellites into space than these tiny asteroids. Even the Hubble Space Telescope, which is in space, is 13 meters long and is larger than most of these natural satellites. But nonetheless, this is good news and it should allow for some exciting space missions.